know him personally, but I know his clothes personally. And I love his madness, so if I come to see one thing, I love it to be him. This is my first class ticket to Galliano land, and when I get there, I'm going to find out that the presiding spirit is the 18th century illustrator James Gilray, whose savage wit and biting caricatures are a perfect counterpart to Galliano's own fashion sensibility. I mean, as far as the hats were concerned, you know, we did all those British things. You know, there was a guardsman's hat, beef eater hat. We didn't do one with a pigeon. I was tempted, but John said no. <laughs> to the London Maritime Museum and I chanced upon these beautiful aquarelles, these sketches by James Gilray, a great satirist, who had a keen eye on fashion and evoked these tremendous silhouettes in his sketches. And then I love the contours of the shoes, where I'd found an inspiration from Brancusi. So Peter, as an artist, when you see a fashion production like that, what's your first reaction? See all those models coming out, and you with the incredible headdresses and everything. Just the most extraordinary thing I've ever seen, I think. I didn't expect to see a collection walking into that set so straightforward, pretty. I actually don't think the clothes were more straightforward. I think they were lower key. But actually, when you saw the detailing and how beautifully all the cuts were, I think it was the subtlety in the clothes which then needed to have that Galliano supercharged glamour, which came from the shoes and the hats fantastic shoes. They look like a part of a, of a car out of a body shop with these incredible colors and combination of shapes. He could have gone much madder. What he offered now is just a series of ultimately beautiful dresses for summer. I saw quite a lot of you in there. I see things that I'm dying to wear. All this diaphanous, nearly naked, whisper of a dress with sparkles on it that all speaks to me it makes me want to dress like his girls right. could be wearing bigger feathers this feather is not big enough I've just decided the clothes look like fairy dresses very flattering very very sexy very innocent kind of like that tongue-in-cheek the merriment of Gilray is the most savage satire that, that you'll ever see. Although they're very beautiful, um, there is a certain cruelty to his images and the way he recorded the effects of both economics and politics on fashion. The exaggeration of the silhouettes and that is something that I will always be inspired by.